What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uh, Marvel Future Fight video. So in this one here we're going to be taking a look at Punisher with his new uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Ghost Rider uniform. Uh, this is still on the APK or the pre-update version of the game. So with that comes the standard disclaimer. This video is brought to you by Netmarble and the Content Creator Club. Everything you see here is still subject to change from now until the final build. So keep that in mind in terms of the stats, values, uh, skills, and all that can still uh, get changed or tweaked a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uniform here. So we're going to go over to the uniform and check it out. So the uniform bonus is going to be applied to self, increased damage dealt to superhero and supervillain types by 50%. Uh, we have decreased all damage received by 25%. And then we have a little blurb down there in Korean that I don't know what it says. Uh, so I don't know if they're still going to be adding more to the uniform or not. But right now he's got a really big buff both to uh, superheroes and supervillains. So he's got like a flat 50%. Uh, increase in damage there so that's quite nice and I think that stacks or scales better than if it was just like a 50% all attack buff since it actually specifically says superhero and supervillain I think it scales better but I could be wrong on that um, anyway we have six skill changes here uh, so it's going to change his passive as well so I'm not really sure what it changed on his passive because I thought this was the same passive that he has always had uh, decrease skill cooldown by 10% I'm pretty sure that's the same I mean we can uh, double check here if we just go over to the standard Punisher and where is it uh, oh it was only 4% so they just upped it from 4 to 10% uh, okay um, I guess that's something uh, let's go back to the uniform here and check out the rest of the skills so the first skill looks like just a standard skill second skill uh, same thing uh, third skill here, however, we have a lot going on. We have a 20% HP recovery, which is fantastic. We have a 100% chance to be immune to all damage for five seconds. And then we have accumulation, which is damage received. So he does have to get hit for this accumulation to take effect. And it looks like it's the same as Sharon Rogers. We have the 15% for 15% of HP. Uh, so it should go up to like 250 or 225%. Uh, something like that. I don't feel like trying to figure that out right now, but it's uh, more than 200%. <laughs> uh, the fourth skill right here, we have some all defense down. That goes up to minus 50%. It ignores immunity, so it will work on world bosses. And it just goes right up to minus 50% because it says minus 50% for each hit. So yeah, just one hit, we get that minus 50%, which is nice because you'll see that skill is a very short skill, so it doesn't have a lot of hits to it. So that's actually really good that it adds up very quickly. Uh, the fifth skill here, we have some more all defense down, but it doesn't apply to world bosses. I'm not really sure why they have two separate ones here. I mean, this one's only minus 45%, so of course we want the minus 50 to apply opposed to that one, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not sure why they changed it around. Um, okay, and before we move on here, let's go ahead and take a look at the uniform options so we know what to expect. We have Vision's Uncanny Avengers uniform. We have a Storm X-Men Red. We have a Spider-Man 2099, his all new, all different. We have Deadpool's X-Force. And then we have a Moon Girl Monsters Unleashed. So we have kind of a wide variety here. A few popular uniforms and then a few that not many people probably have. But yeah, that's what we're working with for the uniforms. Um, what else we want to go over? Let's go over his build real quick and then we'll show him off in a little bit of gameplay. Uh, so I have, okay, let's go over here. The ice weight set, we have Hawk's Eye on him. And he's very easy to cap out on the important stats like ignore defense and uh skill cooldown so you don't really have to worry too much about that for him here because he has minus or minus or it gives you 10 percent extra skill cooldown then he gets what 20 or 15 percent ignore defense so yeah you don't really have to worry too much about those which is nice because that's the main stats that you want to get capped uh for him we do have a just regular damage proc obelisk on him this was the one that came with him so that's the one i'm going to keep with him for now um uh, but it does seem like he benefits not a lot, but he does get a pretty good benefit from having some guard break immunity uh, just because the fourth skill uh, that applies that all defense down and you're probably going to be proccing on that skill because it does the most damage. Um, you are not in an iframe, so you can get guard broken out of that. So that is one thing to watch out for. So let's go ahead and hop over to some more boss ultimate and see how he performs there. 
All right, so here we are at uh, World Boss Ultimate. We're going against Proxima. I'm just going to use the two supports in his own leadership. He only has 24%, but with double support, that should be fine. Uh, but I did want to point this out. I didn't show this in any of my other videos yet, is we are getting the potential for the other Nova, Sam Alexander, as well. So that might make him a little more useful in uh, PvP, maybe get him to level 70. I'm not really sure, because uh, he was pretty good in PvP for a while there, but then he just kind of fell off, and I'm not really sure if it's just because of not having the level 70 stats or what but he is getting level 70 so we might end up seeing the other nova uh a bit more as well so yeah just something i want to point out so let's go ahead and hop into the fight here all right so for ghost rider it's a little bit tricky for the uh rotation because you're going to be procking most of the time on the third skill because you want to activate the third skill get that accumulation going then go into the fourth oh i waited a little too long the immunity wall uh, so you go into the, the third skill, get the accumulation going, take a few hits, then hop into the fourth skill, and then you kind of blast her and get quite a bit of damage off that. But then the fifth skill here is a slight delay getting into the iframe, but for some reason, uh, the fifth skill just doesn't really do any damage. I'm not really sure if it's being tagged as like energy damage for some reason, even though it does say, um, oh, the third skill didn't go off. You know what does say physical damage when you look at the skill description and you read the skill it says physical damage but for some reason it does like no damage here to proxima and i'm not really sure why that is i don't know if it's just something with the fifth skill just not hitting as hard as they intended if they're still working on the fifth skill or if it really is just doing like energy damage for some reason um but as you can see ghost rider is doing or uh punisher here is doing a lot of damage so yeah his damage oh no we're gonna die yeah, we die. Uh, so his damage output is quite nice if you get that accumulation so he's one of the first characters i've seen here on this update that's probably going to benefit a lot from a ctp of rage just because you do want to get that accumulation for the big damage and that means you want to get hit but you're going to be procking most of the time on the third skill, waiting for that accumulation to kind of kick in here. And then, boom, you're still going right there. And as you can see, we still got good damage even without uh, the damage proc. So I think that he's going to benefit a lot from... Oh, we're time frozen. Uh, benefit a lot from a CTP of Rage, just because then you can do this a little, a little easier to do the rotation and to get that accumulation to actually build up because that's where most of his damage is coming from. Uh, but as you can see, we get guard broken very easily. Oh, we died again very, very easily. So I think guard break immunity would be really good on uh, Punisher here. So that's one thing I would recommend. So I think a CTP of destruction would actually be a good alternative option if you don't go with a CTP of energy, or I mean, not a CTP of energy, but a CTP of rage. Um, CTP of rage, of course, doesn't have guard break immunity, but you're swapping that for the extra damage. So I think for uh, kind of ease of playing the character, you probably want to go with some sort of guard break immunity on him. If you want to get the most damage out of him, a CTP of rage, just so you can take advantage of that accumulation. Uh, because it seems like it's really hard to get the accumulation if you don't, um, or if you're using a damage proc, because like 90% of the time, I just see him procking on the third skill. So you're just going to be missing out on that damage. But even without the proc, you saw that that fourth skill is still hitting really hard. So he does have that going for him. Um, but there might be a, you know, a better way to play him. This is just me playing with, uh, Ghost Rider here for a few rounds. Like I haven't really been doing like a ton of, uh, of like testing with him i've just done weren't we in an iframe there why did we get knocked out of the iframe um i haven't done a ton of testing with him so there's definitely room to improve the skill rotation or find out a better way to actually get that accumulation to build up and still take advantage of a damage proc on him but yeah let me know what you guys think of cosmic ghost rider here overall i think the uniform is really good uh they just need to or not they but yeah they just need to do something about the fifth skill because i'm not really sure why it's doing no damage um because it's like a huge difference like the fourth skill even without um the damage proc is still hitting for like a bar and a half to you know two bars if i use the fifth skill there i'm doing like a quarter of a bar's worth of damage so the damage is just really weird that it cuts off so much because he has a lot of hits on it the animation looks really cool um he's got some residual damage on the ground so 
not really sure why it's just not hitting very hard uh but anyway that's going to be it for this video here hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you think of uh punisher's new uniform here the cosmic ghost rider if you're going to pick it up or not or if um you're going to hold off on it but yeah let me know so that's going to be it for this one hopefully you enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one